In this video, we're gonna talk about Webflow's audit tool and how this is going to make you more money and allow you to bring more value to your clients. So let's get into it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel and you are a designer, developer, freelancer, and you wanna learn how to scale your business, be sure to click below and subscribe because I've got new videos like this coming out every single week. So. Let's dive right into it. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Webflow's audit tool, and we'll talk a little bit about how this is going to benefit you and your clients, but then even more importantly, we're gonna talk about how this is going to affect your bottom line and how you're going to be able to bring more value to your client, and in turn, how you're going to get paid more. So the Webflow audit tool is something that you'll find here underneath the publish button within the designer of Webflow. And what this does is it runs an audit on your pages and gives you suggestions of things that you need to change, edit, add, or remove in order to make sure that your website is accessible to site visitors and that it is optimized and going to be performing at the highest level. And so this tool is really, really useful because you don't have to use a third party audit tool. You've got everything built right into Webflow. So I'm gonna put a couple links down below in the description that you can learn more about this tool. But what I wanna talk about is the benefits to your client and the benefits to you of using this tool. Now, the first and most obvious is your client is going to be able to avoid any lawsuits that pertain to accessibility. Now, again, if you don't know what accessibility is, this basically means that your site is developed in a way that it is accessible to individuals that have impairments or disabilities. And so you need to make sure that your, your website is open and available and easily navigated by anybody. And so by going through this audit and making all the recommended changes, while this is not going to guarantee that your site is 100% accessible or up to code or standard, it is a great start and it's going to give you a foundation in order to guarantee your clients that they are on the right path to having a fully accessible website. So those are the benefits to your client. Now let's talk about the benefits to you as a designer and a developer. And the first benefit is you are going to be able to protect your clients and in turn protect yourself. It is not going to benefit you if your clients get tied up in some lengthy lawsuit because I guarantee that you're going to get pulled into that lawsuit. And so you wanna do everything possible to make sure that this does not happen, okay? Aside from that, the lawsuits, all of the scary things, um, one of the biggest benefits to you is you're going to be able to bring more value or more perceived value to your work and to your projects. Now, adding value to your projects can do a number of different things, one of which is it can increase the price, which we'll talk about here in a second. But even beyond that, Using this additional value is going to help set you apart from other designers or other competition. And so when you are talking with a prospect that is in discussion with you and a couple other options, you bringing up this feature of Webflow or this expertise that you now have with making sure that a site is more accessible is going to be a big selling point for your prospects. And you can pose this by saying, you know, this is something that a lot of designers neglect or don't do, but it's really, really important. And if you don't do it, you run the risk of a lawsuit. And so by adding this value during the sales process, it's going to make you stand out and make you the best option. So it's gonna make it much, much easier to land these new clients. Now, aside from just building that value during the sales process, you can do a ton of different things to leverage this value in order to benefit you and your client. So one of which is, when you're in that sales process, and let's just say that, uh, that your client is right on the fence, but they're not totally sure if they wanna go with you or maybe they have some doubts, you can use what's called an ACE or throw in an additional benefit or value in order to push them over the edge. So you can use that leverage in order to make the deal seem much better or to sweeten the pot for that prospect. Now, without getting too much into all of the, you know, the sales processes and the sales benefits of this, the biggest benefit that you're probably waiting for is the fact that you can raise your prices. And as freelancers, web designers, developers, we don't just raise our prices for no reason, right? There has to be some reason behind our hike up in prices, whether that is added expertise, added value, maybe we are overbooked and people are paying extra for our time, whatever it is, there needs to be some sort of justification. So. When it comes to this accessibility, this is added value and expertise 
that we should be charging extra for. And so one thing that we're going to start implementing is a one-time fee for us to go through and do all of these page audits within Webflow. This is something that you could easily charge between $500 and $2,000 to run through these audits and come back and give your client a report that says you've got all of your foundational accessibility work done and you're in a really great place. And so I would definitely recommend um, not only pointing out this added service or value and telling them why it's important, but then charging for it because people are going to be willing to pay for it. And the value is there. It's not like you're scamming your clients. They're going to be very grateful that you did this because chances are that the freelancer next door that they almost hired was not going to go through the effort to get this done. Now, the one thing that I do want to cover again is this tool is not going to guarantee that you're 100% accessible and that you're up to code and standard. And so there are a ton of different additional plugins out there that I'm going to link down below. Again, AudioEye is one that, uh, that we have used with clients that does a great job. Um, it's a little plugin that goes into your site, but just make sure that you're not promising too much or guaranteeing your clients that they are 100% safe from a lawsuit just because you ran through this foundational audit, okay? So that's all that we got for this video. I'm curious to find out how many of you are using the audit tool and if you found ways to increase the value of your projects by using this and maybe even charge more. So comment down below if you have any questions and we look forward to catching you in the next video.